Hello everyone, welcome in Cool IT Help. Guys, this is the new video tutorial on JavaFX. So in this tutorial, I will tell you how to create a transparent stage. Yes, you can create a transparent stage in JavaFX application. So the feature of this stage is that if you put any control on it, that will not be transparent with the stage. Only the stage will be transparent and your controls will be visible with the full fledged color. So as you can see, uh, example, a demo program is running and the stage is appearing. But one thing with this uh, transparent stage is associated that you cannot have uh, the default window controls like minimize, maximize and close button on the top of this stage. So this is undecorated stage. So we have to uh, manually or programmatically control the maximize, minimize and uh, we have to make it uh, movable on the stage, draggable uh, with the help of some coding. So the uh, similar kind of tutorial I have created and also uh, posted on my channel, Cool IT Help. So uh, in the description, I have given the link of uh, that also. So you can uh, enhance the feature of this stage so you can associate uh, that coding component into this stage so this stage will be movable and draggable and you also can uh, attach a minimize button close button with this stage so as you can see guys this is uh, perfectly trans transparent and uh, the controls whatever uh, we have put on this control is perfectly visible and on the stage so i will tell you how we can uh, create this stage this is very simple and uh, we can easily understand it so before starting guys i have a request if you think this video is useful so please uh, like this video and share with your friends as well also if you want such more useful videos on my channel so guys please subscribe so first of all this is as usual this is my uh, basic fxml based project in which i have created the champ demo so you guys can uh, create a simple javafx project to implement this Okay, so what we are doing, we have uh, one package in which we have an FXML file, we have one controller and uh, one Java file which has a start method. So this is the starting point of our application. Okay guys, so we have created one CSS file. So I will tell you what the CSS file is doing here. So now coming back uh, uh, to the file which has a start method. So what you have to do? So once you create a simple fxml project in NetBeans IDE, so you will have default these three files and you have to go here in the file which has a start method. So you have to uh, write these three lines of code. So here we have to set this style with the help of stage dot set in, with the help of stage dot set in, in it style method and you have to set a transparent style. So we have done this thing at line number 28. In the next line, we have to fill, we have to fill a transparent color with the help of set fill method. So we are doing with this set fill method. Okay, in the third uh, line, which is line number 30. So we are applying a style sheet. So we have created a separate style sheet and then we applied on our stage. Okay. So with the help of scene.getStyleSheet method dot add, and then you have to pass the path of the style sheet. In our program, in our project, we have the style sheet inside the source package. So this is the CSS folder. So here's the CSS folder and the style sheet name. New cascading style sheet dot CSS. Okay, so you have two lines only. Okay. And the important step now we're going inside the CSS file. That's what we have to write inside. In our example, uh, we are using FXML. So first I will show you the FXML. Then I will show you why we have written this CSS inside the CSS file. So this is FXML file. This is simple. We have created for the example purpose. I have created this simple login screen. So uh, our the base uh, container is anchor pen. Okay. So which we can refer with the help of dot root in the CSS file. Okay. Rest of the things are uh, label and uh, some text file and this is button only okay so dot root is 
pointing to the anchor pen that means the base container of our fxml in our project okay so we are simply doing uh, we are applying this fx hyphen background hyphen color and the color code rgba so here these three are the color code red green and blue combination so what type of the color you want to set on the stage okay so these three parameters representing the color code okay and the last parameter representing the transparency level of the stage right now the transparency level is 0 0.5 okay and the value uh, will be in the range 0 to 1 so if you increase the value like uh, if you are uh, reaching to the uh, 9 that means we are very close to 1 and now again we will see uh, the result of this change okay so i'm taking the build again and i will run this program and i will show you program and i will show you the impact of that change you can see the transparency level uh, reduced okay so the fourth parameter defines the transparency level if you set it uh, like uh, three that means you are increasing the transparency level okay i hope this is clear to you guys and the second uh, style which is fx background radius so the corner of that stage you can see the corner of the stage is rounded so we are applying we are passing the value this is 10 so we are setting the radius if you increase the value so you will get more circular shape on the corner so we have used the second lines for this purpose so uh, as you can see okay uh, okay guys now let me uh, save this thing and uh, i'm going to take a build again okay uh, i think our application is running we need to close it first then we will take the build of uh, this project again Okay, it's done and uh, here we go to run this file. Okay, you can see we have reduced from uh, 0 0.5 to 0 0.3, then the transparency is increased. Okay, you can see uh, on the windows because uh, the transparency will uh, be observed if we have some uh, dark background just behind the stage. So you can see guys, this is perfectly and looking very awesome so the same thing you can apply on your project on uh, on the stage or the windows you are using so that will enhance the look and feel of your application and you will add some wow effect in your javafx application application so guys i hope you found this video useful so guys please uh, like this video and share with your friends as well so they also take the benefit of this tutorial and please don't forget to subscribe my channel also press, press this bell icon for uh, getting the new latest video updates okay guys uh, and thanks for watching cool it help